All right. That's Get in there with him. Help, right. help, right. help him out. No? All right. It's like say what we start off by like saying where we are and then saying what you do here. We're, we're, we're rolling. So where, where are we at? Iowa State University, NMR, Stanford. Excellent. Uh, so this right here is one of the instruments. This is a 400 megahertz NMR magnet. So that's a giant superconducting magnet. Okay. Uh, so they keep the magnet stable with uh, liquid nitrogen and liquid helium uh, to keep it cold. Right. And keep it a superconducting magnet. Okay. Uh, right now, so we put samples inside. Uh, NMR tubes like this, so it's in a solution. Okay. And we put the sample in the magnet, and it basically excites all the protons in the molecule, and we get a spectrum that helps us figure out the composition of our compound. All right. Are so you right a now? We're doing low temperature NMR studies. So this is liquid nitrogen hooked up to the probe. So we're cooling it down to 220 Kelvin, which is about minus 50 degrees Celsius. Let me see here. Uh, so we can take NMR spectra at various temperatures. Yeah, that's cold. Um, how, how far, how, what's the temperature? What, what do you need to go down to in order to, to do your uh, experiment here that you're doing today? Uh, we went down uh, to 200 Kelvin. 200? That's about the lowest we can go before the solvent freezes. So are, are, you, are you a student here? You're not a student? Uh, I'm a researcher, postdoctoral researcher here. Postdoctoral researcher. Yeah, so where did you Where did you go before this? Where did you do uh, your I did undergrad? I did my PhD at the uh, University of Washington in Seattle. Awesome. And went to undergrad at the University of Pittsburgh. And you came to Iowa State. Why? <laughs> uh, it was a job. Came for yeah. Just uh, I got a position. Doing All right. Research. So we got a, a smaller one right right here, a smaller uh, magnetic chamber. What what did you call it? An NMR, NMR spectrometer. And this is a 400 spectrum. megahertz. That was a 600 megahertz. Yeah, this that's one's for a solid for a solid sample. For a sample solution. Can you uh, can you take me up the the stairs here and kind of like show me around the the top there a little bit? Uh, probably not. I don't think you want to get your hands up close to it because it is a giant magnet. So ah. you probably shouldn't have it up there. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not. Um, well, <laughs> we, uh, that room, there's two smaller magnets. They do about the same thing. Yeah, it's all, they all do the same thing. Yeah, Dave, uh, I came in here, I came in here before and, and Dave was uh, showing me, he, he took me up on the stairs on, on that one right there. Yeah, you can go, uh, just probably not with your, with your camera or anything metal. <laughs> Will it will it just like stick to the side of the chamber or what? Oh uh, yeah, it could. I mean, you <laughs> could feel if like, you have your keys in your pocket, you can feel them pull a little bit. He was so, he like, the, the metal binding on this side probably feel that. Uh, that might not be magnetic, but anything magnetic. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in here before, uh, Dave, the guy, do you know Dave? Do you know who I'm talking about? He's the facility manager. Yeah. He's the, he he was showing me around here. He said that the the machines here generate about ten Tesla. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I just know the radio frequency is Have you guys heard of uh, dia, dia, diamagnetic levitation? Have you ever heard of that? Not so much. Uh, it's, uh, it's a thing where, where you, you can take out, I think, this, this core here, that the, uh, the copper looking core. You take the whole thing out. You get, you, get the, uh, you get the magnetic field ramped up around there. And then put, you know, they put like frogs and they put uh, strawberries and stuff in it. It just floats. The stuff just floats because the, the magnetic field is so intense inside there. Nice. They hurt the frog? No, the frog just hops away <laughs> when it's done. It's great. It doesn't, doesn't tear it apart or anything. It's, it's all humane. Um, I don't know. What else? Well, what else can you tell us? That's about all I know about this, this guy. We use these on a daily basis. They're pretty... Pretty important for our Do you copy all the information on the computer? Like, uh, yeah, and so you get a spectrum of this here. So you get a spectrum like this, and then just print it out on the computer. What's, what's this? What are we looking at right now? Uh, this is just each one of these is a different proton in the molecule. So this is the solvent right here. This is toluene, and these down here. And these correspond to his compound. Can I, can I get you? No, sorry. 
Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, that's uh, God, I'd like to I'd like to jump up there, but I don't know. This guy's not good.